Hi, this is Chris. Today I will talk about how you can make a wearable sensor publish its data to the cloud via a mobile phone. So I will create a simple iPhone app that collects the information from the wearable sensor and then publish it to an MQTT broker. The idea of wearables is not new. And depending on the definition, one could argue that one of the first was the 500-year-old abacus ring that you can see here. The thing that has made them more interesting recently is their connectivity, which makes them part of the Internet of Things. Making them connect themselves would require a connection to a cellular network, and even if possible, it wouldn't be a very practical solution. Instead, using Bluetooth, they can connect to a mobile phone that in turn will connect to the cloud. Let's create an iPhone app that reads the temperature sensor of a wearable device and publish it to an MQTT broker. To do that, you need an iPhone 4S or later, as well being a registered and paying iOS developer. And you also need a very nice device called the Light Blue Bean which is an Arduino compatible microcontroller with built-in Bluetooth that has a coin cell battery to be constantly on and connected. Now it's time to open Xcode and create a new project as a single view iOS application and start by adding the framework core Bluetooth. You also need to add the light blue bean SDK and the MQTT kit libraries to the project. Then you should update the viewcontroller.h file to look like shown here. And first we import the headers for the libraries on line 1 to 3. Then we add delegate for the bean on line 5 and define properties for the MQTT client bean manager and bean on line 7 to 9. Then we also need to update the implementation part of viewcontroller.m to look like shown here. And first we set up the MQTT client to use the device unique identifier as the client identity on line 4. Then we connect to the MQTT broker on line 5. And note that we are using the free Eclipse sandbox in this example. And when connected, we set up the bean manager on line 9 to 10. When the bean manager is on, which is checked on line 17, we start looking for beans on line 19. And when a bean is found, we connect to it on line 25. When connected to the bean, we set up a timer on line 32 that reads the temperature sensor from the bean on line 37 every 5 seconds. Each time the temperature is read, a message is published to the MQTT broker on lines 42 to 43. And you can see the published value if you follow the link on the top right. The cool thing here is that if you set up the iPhone project to allow background Bluetooth operation, the app will continue to run when the app is in the background, and even if the phone is locked. So anyone anywhere can continuously monitor my temperature by subscribing to the MQTT topic. And that could be true for any kind of sensor connected to the light blue beam, for example a heart rate sensor. So that's how you can publish the information from a wearable sensor to the cloud via a mobile phone. And with that, I wish you the best of luck with your Internet of Things projects. Thank you.